living with thalassemia. Living with thalassemia sometimes poses challenges. Aaron Cheng, thalassemia patient. But it doesn't have to take over somebody's life. As a patient with thalassemia, I've learned over the years that thalassemia is not just a disease about blood. There are a lot of other issues that affect me on a day-to-day -day basis, particularly things with emotional health as well. It was important for me to look for a hematologist who would be open and receptive to my concerns and to be accessible. Daniel Bauer, MD, PhD. So that I can talk to him and email him with questions that come up. It's important for physicians to realize that patients are not defined by their disease and that they are people who may suffer from social, emotional problems related to their long-term chronic disease and that those are just as important to address as the underlying medical problem. Examples of emotional issues facing people with thalassemia. Depression, sadness and grief over losing loved ones, feelings of fear and anxiety over health concerns, challenges in balancing life, school, and treatment. It is possible and important to have balance in life and to make sure that thalassemia isn't at the foreground of somebody's lifestyle. I feel like having hobbies on the side and doing things that you enjoy are so important just to maintain good mental health and a good balance in life. In med school, I realized that exercise is so important to overall well-being and that people with thalassemia can be physically active, can go to the gym, work out, and participate in sports just as any other person can. Sometimes my friends and family ask what they can do to help me as a patient with thalassemia. The most direct way of helping patients with thalassemia is to donate blood. For people like me who require a blood transfusion every three weeks, we really depend on the generosity of people who donate their blood. Thalassemia. Today, most people with severe anemia from thalassemia require red blood cell transfusions every two to three weeks, amounting to as much as 52 pints of blood a year. There's no reason why thalassemia should preclude anybody from pursuing their biggest dreams in life. For me, my biggest dream is to become a physician and a scientist who will have a big impact on the patients that I will treat. And it is my hope, and I'm optimistic, that in the future thalassemia will inform me on how to do that better and it won't keep me from doing what I have always wanted to do. I think the future is bright for patients with thalassemia. Specifically in this time, there are so many new clinical trials for gene therapy and potentially curative approaches that might be coming in the next decade or so. I think, and I'm optimistic, that patients with thalassemia will live long and fulfilling lives. CDC thanks Aaron Cheng for sharing his personal story. To learn more, www.cdc.gov thalassemia, www.thalassemia.org.